Hi guys, I'm Jessica Mandeville with MyFashionPlate.com and we're here to speak with Rachel White, founding designer of Demitas Jewelry. So Demitas in French literally means half cup. Why did you choose this name to be your company name? I was trying to figure out how to call, what to call it and I had about eight pieces in the line. And I came up with some cheeky, uh, you know, not right names for the line. And the first people I showed the collection to, and this is, you know, eight pieces, uh, were my family, with my family. Um, my grandparents in particular were there, and my 80-year-old grandfather looked at them and said, this looks like Demitas. And I knew that that was it. Demitas is meant to be meaningful and remain charming and clever, but also classic. And I think that all the collections under the Demitas brand are true to that. The original line of Demitas came out of, you know, a love for food, a passion for cooking. Um, but mostly, um, because of my background in jewelry, I have always looked at other designers as being, you know, my gods. And I thought to myself, for a long time, why can't I, you know, I really wanted to go on my own. I really wanted to do this myself. And I didn't really have the courage, and I don't think that I really had a cohesive idea um, of what I wanted. And I came across this article about antique spoons in a magazine, and I just looked at them and I was just moved. Traditionally, uh, silverware for the table um, became so popular in, in terms of de uh, decorative arts, you know, of luxury, and especially in, you know, the early the later 18th century during the Rococo period when everything was really elaborate and detailed and saucy and cheeky and so eventually it trickled down into society uh, the average household wanted to collect spoons for the table and you know they couldn't necessarily afford certain designers and those designers you know Gorham and Whiting Tiffany etc um, these people were making, got, they sort of were put on the map because people started to recognize these designs on tables. Tiffany is known for their silver, essentially. I mean, it was the silver company with the silver bowls and things like that. And so some of these companies, you know, ended up making such beautiful designs and beautiful work in their silverware that they ended up going on to make jewelry, which silverware really pioneered different techniques in jewelry making. I am absolutely paying homage to some of these designers and, um, you know, it's the information is there and the designs are there to be inspired by and, and look at and be, you know, tickled by. You know, finding like an ice cream, I mean, the ice cream was, you know, they didn't have ice machines, so they had bricks of ice creams. So they literally had knives to slice it, like you would slice a, a cake or a pie or something. And some of the really elaborate um, pieces in silverware come from those really, you know, those true luxuries, um, fruit being one of them. And, um, and ice cream being another, because you not know, everyone had a nice box, obviously. Right. Um, and so, you know, you have these just intense uh, serving pieces that are really just quite something to look at. Every piece does tell a story, and that is crucial about Demitas. All the pieces tell a story and have some kind of historical significance. People really love the absinthe spoons, I think, because absinthe, you know, just like all things that are sort of naughty and have history and were outlawed, people have an affection for. I mean, right. that's most art movements. Um, so this was one of the pieces in the line, and then the summer fruit spoon was one of them. And actually, no, three of them are here, and the signature tablespoon. So your latest collection, Demi Stash, features mustaches as necklaces. Where did you get this idea? I mean, the mustache just became this outrageous, funny collection, and I started just getting off on it. You know, I was loving it. I thought they were, it was silly, and people didn't understand it. The same way they didn't understand Demi Toss. But it's really bizarre, because I always laugh about this. In jewelry, people are eventually kind of pick up on things, and you know, I'm sorry, I don't necessarily need to wear a bird on my neck, but I'm wearing a bird. I don't need to wear a tree on my neck, so why can't I wear a knife? Why can't I wear a spoon? I'm celebrating something that's historical and much more interesting than a bird that's right. been on everyone's neck in every different way, you know, you can possibly imagine. So why not wear a mustache around your necklace, you know, around your neck? Why not have something that you can actually 
I love this. I love functional art. Functional art tickles me. I love umbrellas with pictures of scenes. I love functional art. Clothing, functional art. Right. It can be, it, can, it's, it is what it is to each and every person, to each their own. I mean, they can do that. But the demi sash is, is, is definitely cheeky and fun and playful. And we have different styles, which is, you know, they're just fun. It just makes you smile. It's silly. And of course, the sponsorship of Movember, an important organization to me personally and um, to a lot of people, it's been fun to be that pink ribbon for mm -hmm. them and, um, and, and have women join in on such an important cause. So what can the loyal fans and customers of Demitas expect from you this year? Everything is sort of thoughtful. All my collections are thoughtful and they usually sort of have something to do with what's going on with me um, internally, like a lot of artists. Um, and right now it's about marriage and commitment and babies and all those things. So I kind of go and I always touch upon those little, you know, everything sort of gets designed around those emotions and there's so many emotions that revolve around marriage, commitment and children and what's going on around you in a home. So I'm doing like little bow ties and little tiny little rings and earrings called demi dots and things that um, that make me think of promise rings. But my bow ties just remind me of little things in girls hair and or a little ring that maybe your dad would give you when you're little or things like that.